Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm back with another sneak peeks. Today we have another YouTuber monster that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. Um, Some more info that um are basically leaked. So I'm going to go ahead and share it all in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So everything that I'm going to be sharing with you guys will be on my Discord server. So make sure to join it if you haven't already. We have over 7,000 members and head over to ML Sneak Peeks channel and you will see all this yourself. So let's take a look at this, what we got. Um, so I'm going to just start from the bottom from the most updated thing until the top so piper shock breeding event looks like they're actually going to release a piper shock breeding event um you will need two legendary monsters one late the other one Kalkan, to get piper shock but you also have chances of getting noarion this one and also elder spoiling i think that's an epic monster or rare one of the two um but anyway space uh defenders breeding okay so it looks like there's gonna be a breeding event and you can get beam bot a pure slight attacker pretty good so Frackbot, Ooh, and ML1 Yamato. So it looks like these are the two combinations that you need. Anyways, Killer Rock Challenge. This will be aired on July 18th. I think today is like July 12th or 13th, I believe. So in about a week or so, there's going to be a challenge for Killer Rock. Uh, so yeah, um, Killer Rock, I'm not a really huge fan, but uh, it's worth getting it for collection purposes. I might actually just get it for collections. That's it. Evolving trait. All right, what do we have here? Astro Pirate. That's going to be a new... Oh, oh, new fugitive for the next bounty hunt. So we have one of them here. We have so many. Look at this. So one of them is Astro Pirate. You guys can see basically the their traits and status casters. We also have another one called Cyber Pirate. Looks like one's going to be starting off with shield. So it'll be nice using monsters that could remove shield or has pierce mechanic against it. We also have um, another fugitive IC or sorry ice parasite galactic snail alien and basically all these other one ocean calamity i think that's a new mythic if i'm not mistaken maybe all of them are who knows um but yeah they have some interesting uh, traits and stuff like that i wonder if these are actually going to be like actual monsters in the game too or maybe it's just like old legendary monsters and they just like you know renamed it or something or even like old mythics um all right, so anyways, Bounty Hunt Season 1. So it looks like this is going to be the Bounty Hunt uh, monsters, guys. So the top one is the free-to-play one, all right? And the bottom one, uh, guess what? It's pay to win. Um, and you do have to purchase it, and it has Pierce. It has Pierce mechanic. Uh, from what I've seen from the skills uh, that were leaked, it does not have any AOE skills, so no area skills, just single targets. Uh, we're going to have to see how good that is. Um, but let me see what we got. Oh yeah, this is the current mask, right? It is worth it, by the way. I know I didn't make a video on this, but I'm sure it's common sense. Everybody knows that this relic is um, one of the must-haves. It's really good. So I would recommend picking up at least one. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I only have like 81 gems or something remaining. I have to complete a challenge soon or like a task. Uh, but anyways, evolving trait, phase rug pro. So this is the YouTuber monster, guys. So you guys know we already have a phase rug monster, but there's going to be another one called phase rug pro, it looks like. Um, so immune to sudden death, rank zero trait. Immune to nightmares at rank one. And status is true vision. Okay. Trait wise, I'm not really a huge fan though. To be honest um but anyways hopefully the skills are better though you know what i mean gleam Hild season one exotic lands yeah these are the stuff for gleam Hild. um i still don't oh yeah this is a status caster i thought this was a trait never mind so yeah now now i know that it's actually a status caster okay i might do a rank four or rank five review on that monster later on we'll have to see uh but i've done any rank zero tr review already if you haven't seen it uh, so take a look at this phase drug pro that's going to be the next season's um youtuber monster and these are going to be the fugitives for the next bounty hunt basically all of these guys it's a lot of them uh, um, let me see i think there's at least like eight so one two three four five six seven eight yeah so eight monsters for each league you guys know there's up to eight leagues right i wonder which one's going to be the last one all right um k911 is going to be the maze monster i'm not sure who that is pretty interesting um psy chaos looks like that's going to be the quest monster some of these monsters are already leaked isn't that insane like look at this one this is the race monster for the next season um ambisonic we also have this one which is going to be the pvp this is going to be the free to play monster guys we also have the free pass monster leaked as well it's called clogor we don't have a picture of it i think um but we can check if we do 
Commander Morgan is going to be $20 and $50. There's a question mark, so we don't know which one that is. But anyways, a phase rug pro, guys. For those of you guys wondering, what does he do? Let's see. He's a fire attacker, it looks like, with double damage and fire weakness. Prank time, that's one of the skill names. It's just fire weakness. You guys can see the skill names on all these other ones. Um, like there's, for example, get exposed. There's caught in 4K, interesting skill name. Uh, massive fire damage to an enemy applies burn to an enemy. I like the massive fire damage. That's, a, that's gonna be a that's gonna pack a punch. Like seriously, this one comes with a double damage while dealing heavy special damage. So I can see him being used a bit. Um, I just I just wish his traits would have been better. Like at least a dodge area would have been pretty sweet. If not Pierce, <laughs> I will take that. Um, but anyways, Clogor. So this monster will have self precision. It means to stun an abomination. Ah man, abomination! Surprise is gonna destroy you. Upcoming monsters: Commander Morgan and Michon. I think that's how you pronounce that one. Clogor. It's a dark attacker with life steal and bleed. You guys can see the skill, but I'll most likely do a analysis, if not a review, on these monsters, guys. Uh, but these are all for this season, as you guys see monsters that were leaked so i think that was about it if i'm not mistaken with um all the monsters oh never mind look 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 there's another one coming out very soon i don't know which one that is brother tiberius i don't know what event that's gonna be but that one is also leaked new talent morgan's glasses when the turn starts if the wearer's stamina is above 50 percent gives an armor okay when the turn starts give any patience to the wearer Okay, so it's basically like Ancient Cloak, but like a better version of Ancient Cloak, I think. Yeah, interesting. So it looks like they kind of like carried the Ancient Cloak talent from Doom's era to this era as well. Okay. All right, uh, that one's a must-have talent, just letting you guys know. For Team Wars, it's going to be very nice. But yeah, um, I think that would be pretty much it for today's... Oh, look, new talent comet. I'm not sure if this one's out yet, but after damaging with a skill, if the target's life is below 50, 25%, it applies freeze to targets. It's kind of like... It's like, um, what's it called? Absolute zero talent, but like a worse version because the thing is, the enemy's life needs to be below 25% in order for it to actually freeze them. And it's not mega freeze or anything like that it's just a one turn freeze i think absolute zero is a two turn freeze if i'm not mistaken and looks like after damaging with a skill of the target's life is below 50 percent deals that many points of earth damage so this is another perk of it so it comes with two perks that this one i can see being used as well so i would recommend picking this up as well the comet talent another talent oh my gosh look at this clog wars fangs when the turn starts if the wearer's life is below 50 percent heals the wearer by that many points two uses and then after damage, you want to skill the target's life is blow up or above 50% applied bleed to the damage enemies. Alright, interesting. Alright, um, Black Moon, new talent. When the turn ends, if the wearer's life is below 50%, deals them this many points of light damage to a random enemy and deals that many points of dark damage to a random enemy. Okay, I see. When turn ends, if any ally is dead, revives a random ally with... Oh my gosh, this is an interesting talent, yo. So you don't even have to carry revival essence anymore this will be really good um to have set up on your defense i've got to say for team wars i mean pvp wise that's pretty good too but especially team wars i can see the change uh new talent morgan's glasses all right i think we already saw this but yeah yeah we did actually but after when the turn starts if the wear stamina is above 50 percent gives an armor with this many points to the wearer uh, armor that gives stamina but it is a talent though so not sure um oh oh wait this is going to be the 50 dollar monster you guys remember the picture that we saw here this this is going to be the 50 dollar monster it looks like it was uh leaked right there but yeah those are some really interesting talents i've got to say very nice talents um they're good I like season one's talents they're good uh but besides that guys we also you know take a look at the breeding events that are coming out and also of course the fugitive monsters and the most important part the youtuber monster right uh we got phase rock pro so let me know in the comments below which you guys are really excited for and that's going to be pretty much for today's monster video i hope you guys did enjoy today's sneak peek if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe once again check out my discord if you haven't already there's a link in the description down below thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out